Who remembers a few months back when I teased an upcoming women's best video? Here it is. I might be a few months late on this one, my bad. But you know what, the summer came, it went, I don't know where the time is going. On March 15th, I actually put up an Instagram story with a Dropbox asking you guys what your favorite women's best leggings were. I was gonna take your top three responses and have them battle it out. With that being said, we have a women's best power versus move versus camo video. Actually, for those who've been around on my channel for some time, you might remember I actually did do a power versus move women's best video in like 2019, I think. I started this channel back in 2018 and originally I was doing healthy lifestyle, living, beauty, a lot of makeup, believe it or not. Uh, for a while there, I hid all my old videos because I thought they were super cringe. <laughs> I was still trying to find myself as a creator, experiment with different styles and methods and it was actually Bay who convinced me to be proud of where I started and to put those videos back to public and I did, I regret it. I think it's absolutely insane when you fast forward the four years and now look at this channel, what we're doing here. It is all active wear fashion now. To see the evolution of this channel, to see it grow, to see you guys respond in this way, is just, it makes me so happy and really love what I do. So thank you guys. And let this be a little lesson for you. Whatever you're doing out there, don't let it be the, the end all be all. Nothing can define you, you define yourself. So if there's something out there that you feel like you'd be happier doing, you go do that. Anyways, back to women's best. This is proof right here that I waited too long to film this video. We got pink, we got aqua. Obviously I bought this in early spring. These leggings have been chilling in my living room for months. I actually do have a really nice fall-esque legging here, the camo, this greenish gray color. If you follow Women's Best, you would know they originally started as a supplement company. Over the years, they branched out into their Women's Best wear, and now that seems to be way more popular than their actual supplements. Fun fact, Women's Best was actually one of the first brands to reach out to me. This was back in 2019, so I did work with them for a short while. Really cool to work with, by the way. So I'm really excited to try some updated active wear from them. But before we get into trying these leggings on, quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you in part by Halara. Here we go, we're gonna do a little mini review of their active dresses and a couple of their leggings. So Halara launched two new materials, the Padded Off and the Cloudful. Let's start with the padded off. So the padded off material that they use is basically pet hair resistant and lint resistant. The hair won't stick. And if any hair does get on here, it's easy to just brush it right off. Now, I don't have pets in my apartment, but there's something I do have, and it's called a lot of dust. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if it's from our carpets or what. What I love is that there's absolutely no front seam. You know what that means, no dreaded CT. This one comes with two pockets. The inside actually feels like the cloud full fabric, which I'll get into in just a second. So really soft on the inside and then silky soft on the outside. A great amount of stretch in here, really hugs the body nicely too. So not only is it functional, but very flattering. This is in the color of Time. I love it, a nice natural color. And it's very squat proof. Moderate compression, just what I need when I'm going out running errands and doing my thing. So here we're looking at the Cloudful Crossover Pocket Leggings. In the color Andorra, the Cloudful Legging is a little bit more on the brushed side. I feel like this would keep you a little bit warmer as well. This still has two pockets, the V waistband just like the other one. Now don't get it twisted, this is not the padded off fabric, but I think this is really good for the upcoming season. The stretch is still there, body fit, and still super flattering. This fabric is designed to feel very soft and light as a cloud. Even though it is so lightweight, it's still super squat proof. Let's take a hot second to chat about a couple of their active dresses. These names are a little too long for me to actually remember, so I'm gonna read it off the screen. This is their padded off flow two in one flare activity dress wannabe. Thank you. So this is their padded off flow material, which is a little bit different from their regular padded off. The flow material has a little baby rib if you look up close, it's very wicking. I love this dress, the flowy white, the very pure look to it, it is so cute for a nice vacation or even a date night. And it wouldn't be an active dress if it did not come with the built-in shorts. I think the backing is super pretty too, a nice little crisscross, great length, and I love that it's not overly tight. You still have some room to breathe, I would say it's very true to size. So I actually got a black dress as well. This is their cloudful fabric. Again, that really soft brushed feel. 
another name way too long for me to memorize, so here we go. This is their Everyday Cloudful Double Straps Backless Twisted Two-Piece Activity Dress Flipped. Now say that three times, tap. <laughs> now say that three times fast, can you do it? <laughs> so whereas the padded off dress came with built-in shorts, these have shorts as well, but they're not built into the dress, they're separate. So you can wear whatever you want underneath, or just keep it with the matching shorts. The double strap is really pretty, and if you look, you actually have a keyhole backing, a nice twisted design. This could be your little black dress. Everything that you just saw was in a size small and very true to size. For the most part, Halara has a really inclusive size range, anywhere from XXS to 4XL. If you guys are interested in shopping any of these pieces, I'll have them individually linked down below, along with my code AshleyGata to save 20% off your entire order. A huge thank you to Halara for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now let's get back to it. Let's play a little game. If we can get this video to 2,000 likes, the next Alphalete video, we will do a giveaway. And trust me, you're gonna want a giveaway when you see what's launching September 10th. Alphalete's launching new Varsity collection, an Amplify short restock, and new Alpha Lux. It's a lot to choose from, plus accessories. So 2,000 likes, let's go. If we could hit it within a week, we got a giveaway coming. This is bringing back some memories. In terms of material, I know for a fact the thickest is the camo, without a doubt full and winter legging right here. The power is mostly nylon. You can feel the dense material. Just by tugging on it, you can tell there's a little bit of compression going on here. This is what makes me think this is gonna be the perfect gym style legging. It is seamless. You have a lot of ribbed contouring everywhere. This is the type of legging you rub a dumbbell or a weight, a plate up against it, you're not gonna cry. The move is a hell of a lot softer. You have a marly, heathery design. This feels a little more brushed, almost yogi style. A little bit more stretch, so less compression overall. A lot more subtle contouring too. Other than the marl breakup, you don't have any crazy thick rib detailing. Even the waistband rib is 10 times smaller than the thick rib of the power. The move has half the amount of nylon than the power. This has some polyester in it, so that gives it its very soft, to the touch feel. And then you have the camo. Like I said, the thickest out of all three of them. All over jacquard design. So no matter what color you go with, it is textured and you can feel that texture throughout the legging. I do wanna note that the printed logo on all three leggings is the same. However, the camo has a significantly smaller one. You do have a matching logo on the ankle as well. So all of them are pretty consistent in that department. Right off the bat, something I'm not digging, but you never know, I'll try it on, is the fact that there's no seam breakup in between the cheeks on the back. For all three of them, none of them, and I mean none of them, have any kind of divider. Now, who knows, maybe the material can play with itself. <laughs> right, no. Does that make sense? In other words, maybe the material will just like work for you and sift into the cracks and crevices on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you gotta put in a little work, but it's worth it. Or something bad can happen. It's called the Unibuth, but we will find out. I have a feeling that the move, it's just gonna glide on in where it needs to be. I also feel like there's some potential in the camo, but the power with its little bit of compression, I have a feeling I'm gonna have a big old Unibuth. <laughs> now guys, I have not put on a women's best legging since 2019. With that being said, my sizing has changed. I do have it listed down below and everything is in my true size small. So the same size that I wore back then, but slightly different measurements. So let's go ahead and see how the fit holds up. Stunning color. But we definitely gotta talk about this area. I had a feeling about this. Now. I'm trying to recall 2019-ish. I think my booty was pretty flat because I would have remembered this fit. Back then, I wasn't eating my carbs and I definitely never did a hip thrust in my life. But now that I'm eating those carbs and I'm trusting that thrust, I officially cannot fit into these power leggings. Yes! <laughs> Yay! So I got a size up. Mm -hmm. Now right here's okay. The compression in the band, pretty good. Moderate, right here. Woo, right down the leg, right around the glutes. Total uni butt. Just standing, I mean, it's completely sheer. Crack all day and all night. So what I would do is size up. If you have similar measurements, our glutes are about the same size, size up for sure. I know these have more of a compressive fit to them. I'm aware of that. So yeah, they're really high compression, what I'm feeling. 
I think even with sizing up, you would still have that nice compression around the legs and glutes, but it just won't be where you squat and it feels like you're gonna literally rip. Because all I know is right now, squatting down, I feel like right here is about to just pop. <laughs> when I squat, I'm getting a little band gape. So if I were to size up, forget about it. I think the band gape is gonna be pretty bad. As it is, like I feel all the compression right here, not so much in the waistband. So there's some pros and cons to sizing up. There's no way I could wear it as is with a small. Sizing up to a medium, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable around here, but I'm gonna lose any and all compression in the waistband and the gape's gonna be pretty uh, ugly. So take that into consideration if you're in between. Other than that, I really love the design. The subtlety is really pretty. Everything you want in a basic workout legging. The compression, the subtle design, and the length, you can't deny it, really good. Even sizing up, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I don't think this is gonna be squat proof. This color is just too close to white. It's got that rugged feel, it's very breathable, but let's check out a sweat test real quick. Not horrible, honestly, for this light of a color, I really thought I was gonna see a lot more liquid patches. Especially because my sprays were pretty concentrated in one area, Wow, what a difference. Oh, so getting up the move 10 times easier than getting up the power leggings. The power would barely budge past my thighs and glutes. The move, oh, let me just see if I could play with this material a little bit. No, it's not working back there. I am telling you, every and any and all leggings, we really need a, we need a glute separation somewhere. Because there is none, I'm still, yeah, I'm still dealing with that uni butt feel. In terms of the material, this is so much more my speed, a lot more true to size. Like this, I do not feel like I need to size up in or down. This is perfect. Whereas the power had virtually no stretch, we got some stretch going on in here, and it's a lot more soft. So in terms of comfort, move is winning. A lot less compression too, that goes without say, but even around the band. Let's see if we have a gape actually, hold up. Gape? Not at all. No? Nope. It's definitely a little more squat proof than the power. Now granted, these are both very light colors, so it's not really doing anybody any favors here, but I will say this marl breakup is a little more distracting around this area, so you don't just see straight booty crack. Let's check out wicking though. That feels thicker already. I f it feels like very soggy. <laughs> the move conceals that sweat, but it doesn't mean I don't feel it. So I feel like the power, even though you saw more sweat, you didn't feel it as much on the skin, whereas here you don't see it at all, but I feel it. <laughs> if you're looking for straight high intense workout type of leggings, power. If you're looking to be able to really move, Go with the move. A lot better for yoga if you're doing any calisthenic work, yoga related. Yeah. Too bad none of them look good on the glutes though. Now granted, I know that the glute appearance isn't everything. I know it's more about functionality than how the glutes look to some people. But I do try to cover all bases here just to fit everybody's preferences because active wear suits different needs for different people. And for me, I like glute aesthetic. Makes me feel strong and feminine and powerful and sexy. This is what I was hoping the other two leggings would look and feel like. Now keep in mind, this is my first time ever wearing women's best camo leggings. Now I see why they're the most expensive. Whereas the power was 55, the move was 60. We're looking at $70 pair of leggings. So even though this is textured, camo textured, it's really stretchy real stretchy. It feels like the move in terms of stretch, but there's definitely a little bit more stretch going on here. These were the easiest out of all of them to put on. I always feel like whenever brands do a camo version of legging, it's always the one I gravitate towards. And there's no scrunch, no breakup seam in the back here, but it's, it's kind of working for me. The material is very grabby, but yet still very stretchy, so you're not sandwiched back there. I also like the fact that it really moves with you, it's huggy, but it's still fairly breathable even despite the Chikara design. But I will say this is definitely the thickest out of all of them. I feel like it's warm over here. I'm catching a little baby sweat going on here. Look at that stretch. The band's a little compressive, not gonna lie, where it needs to be. But right around here where I like a little breathing room, it's stretchy where I like it. So much so that I think if you're in between, you might wanna consider sizing down just because I think you'll have enough room for that. 
I wouldn't want to necessarily size up because I don't want to lose any compression here. It is 100% squat proof on me. Thank God for this camo design. And there's no gaping whatsoever. So in between, maybe size down. You could definitely tell that the highest quality went into this legging. Hence why it's $70. Right now it's actually on sale, okay? I just checked the site and I'm seeing that these leggings are going on sale and when I bought these in March or whenever, they were on sale back then too. Just wait till these are on sale. They'll eventually do another sale sometime soon. Why do I keep putting this cap on? Ooh, I'm barely feeling any, any wetness on the outside. Huh, interesting. That's a fast wicking machine. Okay, this is definitely the most wicking out of all of them. Hands down, like, dude, I'm barely feeling any liquid right now. And you do not see it at all, dude, woo. So those were your favorite women's best leggings, huh? So if I had to put your favorites in order of my favorites, it would go camo, move, then power. I feel like the camo was a combination of the power and move, all the good qualities with those two leggings in one. I loved the stretch of the move, which the camo definitely had. I also like that textured durability factor the camo has that the power had. So therefore, I would think the camo would make the perfect gym legging. It's not too soft like the move. I rub a dumbbell against it, we're good. And I actually think the color is really gym friendly too. You want that darker squat proof type of color, you're good. So I hope you guys found this little versus video helpful. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Do not forget to check out Halara, really great stuff. And don't forget code Ashley Gata saves you 20%. Let's get to that 2000 like goal so we can get you guys an alpha fully giveaway. Definitely do not forget to subscribe. I love you all. Thank you for being here. And I'll catch you in my next video. Let me, let me, let me.